Hey, this is Scott Morgan, and I'm going to show you a, a little bit more advanced usage of the G-Snap plugin, which people have been showing interest in. Um, this, what I'm going to show you is something called MIDI mode, and it allows you to kind of play the, the notes that you're seeing on a keyboard or via a MIDI track, which is my favorite way to do it. Okay, so this is just a, um, something I've been working on recently. Uh, and anyway, let's get into the, the plugin and how it works. Now, I've got a bunch of vocal tracks here, and that's, that's mainly for the purpose of being able to crossfade between different takes. So, like, I can pick the best sounding stuff from, and also so I can do harmonies. But even, like, even with one track, if you're using MIDI mode, you're going to need two different tracks just to make it work. Um, and that's because you need one track for the, uh, the audio data, which is what you actually sang. And then you need another track, which has the MIDI stuff, which, which is what's telling it what pitches to play. Now, let's, let's just take a look at the audio track first. Okay, so here's my audio track, which is called Vocal 3. And um, I've got the pitch, I mean, the pitch correcting plugin, which is called G-Snap, attached here. Let's take a look at it. So I just went in here and selected the uh, MIDI fun setup, which which selects MIDI here for you as opposed to fixed. Now, if you're in fixed mode, you get to deselect or select what notes you are illegal to sing at that, uh, and it's just the same all the time unless you click it and change it. <clears throat> but in MIDI mode, it disables all of them. You can't click this anymore because it's expecting to hear via MIDI what notes are illegal to be sung at that time. And that's where the, the 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 MIDI track comes in. So normally with the MIDI track, you would select what uh, MIDI device you're going to send to. Like these are hardware outs on my MIDI interface. I could play an external keyboard or uh, synthesizer. And then these are software uh, destinations. Like uh, Contact here is what's playing my uh, East West Raw patch, the uh, Duduk. And, or however you say that, and this is Halion, uh, which is playing my drums in this case, uh, and Contact 4 is playing the bass part, which is a Scarby J bass. Uh, you'll notice down here, there's all these little G-Snap things, and that those appear when you add G-Snap to an audio track. They become an option for you to send, they become a, a MIDI device for you to send to. And so, this is Vocal Track 3, Insert 1, which is G-Snap. Now if you look at here, these are all insert effects. And this is insert effect number one. So I'm sending to that particular G-Snap instance. Now let's, let's have a little fun with it. Let's open up the MIDI, uh, so, the MIDI part and see what's going on. Okay, so it looks like there's a chord right here where there's two notes playing at the same time. But actually, this just when you have two notes playing at once, like I could go like this. And it would only play one of these notes. It's just telling you which ones, just like in the other interface we're in, it's telling you which notes are legal to sing at the time. So let's listen to that. So it roughly follows what I was actually singing, right? <clears throat> so if I was actually to do this, or were actually to do this, it wouldn't make much difference because it's pretty much the same notes I was singing anyway. Right, but if I took this note and I move it up to an E flat, now only the E flat is allowed, and I was actually singing a C here, so that should change things a little bit. Yeah. So let's move it up to an F now and see what that sounds like. So there, 
it started on an F. It's like, oh crap, I gotta get up to an F. <laughs> Because I, I was actually saying a C, and then it, when the E flat comes, it's oh I can go to an E flat. That's closer to what he's actually saying. So then it dives down to there. If I was actually to mute these notes, it should try to stay on an F the whole time. So it's really cool. You can like rewrite your melody in the MIDI editor, experiment and kind of come up with a better melody and then maybe even re-sing it after you've got it figured out. That's, that's actually what I did here. I had something completely different. And then I was just playing with the notes in the MIDI editor and then I was like, hey, I like this. And then I thought, well, maybe I could sing it better. And so then I sang those notes and then, you know, just it's just a matter of fine tuning. You get a lot more natural sound that way. <clears throat> and you can also play with harmonies. Like I, I've got another track here that has the harmony parts. Let's just solo both of these. I fall for the flames and I try to get a And all are here Okay. So let's mess around with this. Oops. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to lose extra notes. So here how that went down, like it, I was debating whether I should just keep it one note or not. Yeah, we could go up. Let's try a B flat. Or maybe we could do this. New idea. I fall for the flames I fall for the flames I try but I can't Let's see if we can get it. To, uh, another thing is that you have to remember is you can't go too far from what you originally sang, or it'll just it'll just uh, revert back to the original notes. We'll see what that sounds like. Uh, uh, I try, I try <laughs> like it didn't want to go to the high C, so it went down to the low instead. It changed the octave. Uh, uh, Anyway, so that, oh, and I should try to do the, uh, let's see if we can set up so I actually record it MIDI. And I'm going to mute it. I'm going to play it via the keyboard. I'm just holding a C down. So it's flipping back and forth between the... Uh, so it's just flipping back and forth between the high and the low octave because sometimes it's closer to the high one, sometimes it's closer to the low one. But that was an example of being able to play. Let's, let's see if I can do something more fancy with it while I'm playing it. Uh, uh, I try, <laughs> yeah, so that's fun. I'm actually playing that live.